Okay, so that's the difficult part. Um, now the tedious but easy part is is actually creating up, creating an ATC taxi network. So I typically start with the runways. The runways are the are the focal point of all of this. Um, so let's turn on just the runways. Um, and the tool we're going to use for this is right over here. It says uh, taxi routes, right? So it's the one with the ATC um, icon here. Now, if you look at the top, we have a little menu bar that's that applies to this tool only. And these should look familiar. These are the properties that we already looked at on each ATC uh, taxi segment. So we have our one way, whether or not it's a runway, um, whether we should hold short for departures, for arrivals, or for ILS. And then we have name. Now the, the last um, property here is slop. So what slop means is uh, how close can we get to another um, to another ATC segment before we snap to it basically. So this is this is a snap to number and the bigger you make this the the um, the more coarse your your snaps will be. So you can be farther away from another edge and it will automatically snap to that. I usually keep it around 12 it seems reasonable. So since we're going to be making runways here, um, it's not one way. Uh, let's do runway three, four right first. Um, we definitely need to hold short for departures and arrivals because it's a runway. So we would want to hold short for three, four right and for one, six left. And same thing for arrivals. So that's how you select multiple um, runways. Uh, no need to concern ILS with this. You're going to hold short of it regardless of the ILS is in use or not. And again, name for runways doesn't matter. Um, but just for my own reference, we're going to call this one six left three four right. So, what's so special about this bar? Well, this bar at the top sets the defaults for this tool while you're using it right now. So that means any anything that I click down, any segments that I create from this point on will be given these properties. Now you can always edit them later, but it's really nice to have them done um, while you're working rather than have to go back and click on everything and edit the properties. So definitely keep going back up to here and, and make your make your changes up here. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do um, is just click down. Now I know I said not to go to the end, but we're just gonna go somewhere near the end since we have the taxiways turned off. I'm gonna click once there, that puts down one node. I come all the way up to the top here. And I'm gonna click right up here. And there we go. Now if we just press return, we're all done. Um, so we've put down one runway basically. I'm gonna to switch to our vertex tool, which is used to, to, to pick these things, to select things that are already made. So you can see on the right here, we've created uh, a segment, which is called one six left, three, four right. Um, and this should look familiar now. It's, it's not one way, it's a two way segment. Um, it's a runway, it's one six left, three, four right. And ATC should make sure to hold short aircraft of it um, when there are departures or arrivals on one six left or three, four right. And it's, it's not an ILS precision area, we don't need to worry about that. And then you can see it's also created two nodes. So here's one six left, three, four right start, which is this node down here, you can see it's selected. And if I click on stop, you can see this one here is selected. So there's no properties for the nodes that you need to care about, including name. Name is just for you. Now, you're going to be making a lot of these. So what I what I like to do is, is select all of these. You can hold down Shift and then just click the range. And then I use Command G um, to make a group, which is uh, Control G on a on a PC, I think. I'm going to name this group uh, ATC Taxi Network. And I like to keep everything in a group so that I can hide or show them all at once, or I can lock them down so I don't accidentally move them around. And then I'm going to go on to the ATC tool again. I'm going to do the center runways now. So one six center, three four center. We're going to unselect these runways and pick one six center, three four center. Okay, and then we can change this just for our reference. Okay, and again, click here. And there we go. Now we have our two runways. Now let's say I forget that I haven't changed the top names or runway selections and I go and make this one. And now it looks like we have two runways, you know, as far as ATC is concerned. 
you can see we have one four center, three four center. So we can just click on the segment and we can change it right here. So this is going to be one six right and three four left. And then we can change that here. Okay, and there we go. Okay, so for the next part, um, let's lay down our main taxiway, which is taxiway uh, Bravo. So I'm going to turn the uh, tarmac back on so I can see where this goes. Uh, we pick the ATC tool again. Uh, it's not a one-way taxiway. Uh, it's not a runway, so we turn that off. It doesn't have any holds that we care about, or no holds at all, I should say. So we can disable all the holds, no ILS hold. And the name of it is going to be Bravo, so we just put B. And now we can zoom in here, and it's somewhere in this vicinity here. We'll put a node, and we'll come down here. And uh, let's end it right about here. And there we go. So now we have a taxiway that's somewhat centered here anyway. Um, and it looks like all the properties are set the way we want them to be. So if we go down to the bottom again. So I ended it here, even though the taxiway comes all the way down to the runway, obviously, um, to show you how to do this in pieces. So um, here's where the slop kicks in. So I can click here, and maybe we want to come over here, and then we'll click again down here. And let's just make this a simple one. So we'll just cut this corner and come all the way back here, and then press return. So you can see, even though I didn't click at the node, it snapped it to that node because it was within um, the slop radius here. So if we come all the way down here, and you can see it attached itself to the runway as well. So now we can go to the vertex tool, and we can click on any one vertice here, and we can move, move this wherever you want. So you're obviously moving the runway as well. Um, but let's say we want this to be you know, in the middle of the taxiway, nice and centered here. And we want to move this one over here. And uh, there we go, we want to move this one over here. So let's say you didn't like, um, let's say you didn't like how, how steep this turn was. You wanted to make it a little more gradual. So you can command click, I'm sorry, it's, uh, it's option click, option click or uh, alt click on a PC. And what you're doing is you're splitting this segment into two smaller segments by putting a node in between. So now we've created a new node. Um, Oh, and I wasn't inside the group, so it's dumping all of this outside of my group. Here, we can put it back in the group. So you can see the split um, the split node right there, that uh, world editor automatically named split based on um, the previous node names around it. So now you can take this and you can move it anywhere you want. Now, if you say, ah, uh, you know what, I don't really like that, you can just delete that node and um, the segment reattaches itself back the way it was. So you can see if I click on any of these, they are all called Bravo and they all have the same properties. Um, so now one other trick. Let's say let's say you misname this. Let's say it's Bravo to this point and then from here down is called, uh, let's call it Charlie. So you can select um, multiple segments by holding down the, the uh, command key on a Mac or the uh, control key on a PC and you could select multiple segments uh, here. You could also select them from the list on the right. Now that we have everything selected, um, we can go over here and change the name. Now if we, just, if we just type C for Charlie here and press return, it's only going to change this one segment. You can see we have several segments selected in here. It's only going to change this one. But if I hold down Option and then press return, you'll see it change them all to Charlie. So now if we cl uh, click on any of these, um, all of these are called Charlie. It's a really, um, it's a really useful feature. Now this this applies to everything um, in the properties. So if you hold down Option and either click on or press Return on anything in the properties, um, it sets it to all of the ones that are selected. So let's say we wanted to, um, let's say we wanted to make this a, a hold short for ILS, right? So we can hold down the Option key and then we're going to say um, 
let's say it's a it's a one six right, even though it's not, and you could see all of these change to one six right. So you, the option key is the uh, is the the key to all that. 